Once the relief sculpture is finished, it can be used as one side of a box. I'm going to start by putting on the top because the top and the bottom are a little shorter for that half inch allowance. So I'm going to score this part, score the underneath part of this. Slip them. And then just put them together. Make sure that it's even with the top and the bottom and that it's even with this edge over here. And then push them together. Don't just lay, set them on top, but push them together. And if you want a real straight edge, you can put your ruler up against it and then push that out against the ruler. The relief sculpture will be the last slab to be added to the box. Gently place the relief sculpture on the box, lining up the corners and pressing them together. After the box has been constructed and the lid has been cut off, the rest of the surfaces need to be decorated to complete the creation of a three-dimensional work of art. Use a damp sponge to wipe off the excess clay that went outside the letters. Since the matte glaze has already been fired, it won't rub off. Wipe in various directions, but do not rub too hard or long, taking glaze out of the letters. Clean your sponge often to keep glaze from going onto the matte surface. When all the letters have been glazed and cleaned, the rest of the box can be decorated with underglazes, glazes, overglazes, and paint.